Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite books. So this is Intron Depot 1 and this is a Masamuni Shiro book and it is just amazing and has some beautiful illustrations in it. I'm going to be kind of careful with this book because it just um, it seems a little fragile in a way. So. You have some apple seed illustrations here. And this particular book, if you get your hands on it, it's pretty cool because it's also in English. It's in Japanese and in English. And I've read this entire book. And he kind of just gives you like a little look into each illustration and what it was for and what he was thinking and what he was trying to do. And it's kind of funny. This is a beautiful apple seed uh, illustration here. But it's kind of funny because he often seems like unsatisfied with his artwork and it's just crazy how amazing this is but yet you know he seems as though like he feels like he never pulled out pulled off what he was trying to illustrate so it's kind of crazy because you know most of us could just wish that we could illustrate something this amazing A lot of his colors are very soft. So you need like light blues and greens and, and tans. A lot of mech. Um, a lot of his characters definitely are drawn a little uh, sexy, I guess. And I think that was something that got him in trouble a lot because a lot of these illustrations were for either the cover of the manga or, uh, or some sort of uh, fantasy uh, sci-fi uh, magazine or something like that. So a lot of them would end up being rejected just because some of the, the female characters were drawn too sexy, I guess, uh, by I guess the standards of, of back then. Some black magic here. Really awesome illustrations. I haven't seen the uh, the anime movie. I, I haven't heard good things about it, but I'm still very, very intrigued uh, by the illustrations and am very tempted to watch it. If for nothing else, then you know the uh, characters, character designs, and whatnot, I think would keep me interested. You get into Ghost in the Shell, which you all know is an amazing movie. If you if you haven't seen any of the Ghost in the Shell series or movies, I mean, you have to start with the original animated movie. And then probably get into the manga. Go, go for the animated movie, then maybe the manga, and then maybe try to watch uh, some of the series, some of the animated series, they can be, they can be quite complicated. You know, he goes into a lot of detail into, um, the technology and the mech and stuff like that. Recently there was a, uh, a, a new animated series, computer animated series that has uh, been premiered on Netflix and it was originally debuted with only Japanese dialogue and uh, uh, English subtitles. Um, now you can watch the whole series in English if you know if you don't enjoy reading subtitles. I find it difficult sometimes to 
you know, watch the action on the screen and read the dialogue at the same time. So I was happy that it came out in English finally, and especially, you know, uh, Ghost in the Shell can be a very technical series, so it is difficult to read all of what's going on and uh, try to enjoy the animation at the same time. So here's the cover artwork. That's just amazing. Here's just a very loose, you know, um, illustration of the cover where he's probably just trying to work out the colors and stuff like that. But oh my goodness, would I love to have this framed, you know, on my wall. It's just amazing. And, and just to show you, this is the cover here. So that's what he's trying to work out, right? But look how amazing this is. Like, if, if that was thrown away afterward, <laughs> that would be crazy. So you see here, it turns into to this illustration here. It's beautiful. And this one as well. I think this is on the back of the book. Yeah. He also did a lot of variations of illustrations. So here you see a pink... Um, uh, outfit and here it's, it's kind of brown. <clears throat> I was going for the word costume but I couldn't think of the word costume so I said outfit but whatever. So here you go again. Uh, you have this character in a mech suit here and then uh, he kind of talks about how like you know he would have liked to draw like more thrusters or the engine or like He's very, he's very into getting things um, right, you know, in terms of technology, like how it would really work. He wants to illustrate it, how it would really work. So again, he was kind of like dissatisfied, I think, with that illustration. These are cool here, it says jungle. It's a lot of green and earthy colors in these illustrations. Super beautiful. It's a very odd illustration with this uh, this uh, um, alien. Looks like a gray with this guy kind of holding the alien and he's in a mech suit. Very strange. This is beautiful illustration and character de uh, design here. I like that a lot. This kind of part on the bottom maybe should have just went straight down instead of looping here but other than that, I think it's really, really cool. This is definitely a book to have in your collection. If you collect art books and you don't have this book in your collection, and when I say art books, I'm talking about, you know, art books that are um, kind of geared towards like animation and uh, and movies and whatnot like this has to be in your collection I'm not talking about like you know if you collect books on Picasso and Monet and stuff like that um, obviously but if you collect books on movies and animation and uh, anime and stuff like that like if this is not in your book collection you need to get it into your collection And he's got, I think he's got up to Intron Depot, like seven or eight or something like that. But one, two, and three are kind of my favorites. I love this too. I love sketches in the back of books. I mean, I know I say that all the time, you guys, but <laughs> I do love it. And the way that they're done, like, you know, uh, sketches like this, where you have a lot of shading and variation and light and stuff like that, because a lot of books do have illustrations in the back, um, sketches, and um, they're not shaded. So they're very, like, one-dimensional. But these are gorgeous. And as you can see, he just has a ton of notes going on. 
here. So just a lot of information. There's that. The glue wants to come undone on this book. So I don't know how many more times I'm going to get to to skim through this book before uh, it starts falling apart. But hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and hit that like button. And it's been a pleasure sharing books with you and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.